Okay, so let's suppose you are asked to convert compass bearings to true bearings. The simplest way to do this conversion is just to draw the Bonneville diagram. It doesn't have to be perfectly to scale unless you're actually drawing the map, but it needs to represent what's going on so you understand it. Convert north 50 degrees east to a true bearing. Okay, I'm looking for north and then 50 degrees away to the east. Not the west, but the east. So, draw that in. North and then 50 degrees away to the east. So that was north 50 degrees east. Okay, what's the true bearing? What's the angle measured clockwise from true north? It's just the 50 degrees, isn't it? So we write it in three digits and we put a T for true bearing. 50 degrees true. Okay, south, 14 degrees east. Well, this one starts from the south and then we have to go 14 degrees to the east. So it's going to be somewhere there, 14 degrees in there. That is south 14 degrees east. But what I need is a true bearing. What's the angle measured clockwise from north? I need this angle here. Well, all the way to south would be 180 degrees take away that 14. So that would be 180 minus 40, 166 degrees. There's a true bearing. 166. Pretty easy. Okay, let me change colours. Suppose you have to go the other way. Convert these true bearings into compass bearings. Okay? 130 degrees true. Well, north, true north is zero. As the angle increases, I go away clockwise. Zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180. Oops, too far. I need 130. Okay, go back. This is 90. How much more do I need from 90 to get 130? I need another 40 degrees. So, it's going to be here. Okay, no, not 140 there. I could have adjusted that, but I'll just change this number. It's 40 degrees here to make a total of 130, 130 true. So if this, this angle is 40 degrees, now I need a compass bearing first. Is it north or south? It's south. I should write this in 130 degrees true. It's clearly south rather than north. What's the angle away from south? We want this angle here. Well, if that's 40, then there's 50 left to get to 90. 50 degrees. And is it east or west? It's east. Easy enough. Okay, last one. 270 degrees. Well, 270 degrees, let's see. Clockwise from north. So, 90, 180. Oh, 270. It's directly west. 270 degrees, true. But if it's directly west, I have a problem. Is it north or south? It's neither. It's directly west. As a compass bearing, we just write west. Because it's neither north nor south. And the same will happen at 90 degrees true for east. You just write east. But all the others you have to write like that.